Welcome back everyone to the autoencoders exercise. So the purpose of this exercise is to really answer the following question. Given a data set of average eating habits between countries in the United Kingdom, does any particular country stand out as different from the others? So keep in mind this particular question doesn't entail any specific discussion of dimensionality reduction. In fact, this question could possibly just be answered by taking a close look at the raw data itself. And we're going to actually explore that throughout the exercise notebook. We'll first try to answer this sort of question by visualizing the data, and then we'll see how dimensionality reduction can help us figure out which country is the standout. So let's head over to the exercise notebook and explain what you're going to be doing. Okay, here we are at the exercise notebook. To begin, you're going to first going to run these imports and then read in the CSV file by running this command. And essentially what this is, it's a table of the average consumption of 17 different types of food in grams per person per week for every country in the United Kingdom. And so you'll notice that while the table, after you read in the data, shows some interesting variations, the overall differences are actually not clear because what we have here are 17 different categories across four countries, England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. So what's gonna occur here is from a normal just person perspective, you're not actually going to be able to take a look at this table and instantly figure out which country or which set of countries is very different from the others. So a next logical choice is to try to visualize this and maybe you decide to choose a heat map. So we'll go ahead and have you transform or transpose the data frame to look like this, where the countries are the actual rows, and then create a heat map that looks like this. So this is one approach to answering this question. And you'll see that this heat map still doesn't really quite answer the question of which country is extremely different from the others. So in that case, you may want to try to perform dimensionality reduction, because really the hard part here is that we are dealing with 17 different categories of food across four different countries. So that's almost 80 uh, different little cells here that we have to look at. So instead what we're going to do is see if we can create an auto encoder that goes from 17 to eight to four to two, and then back out from that two to four to eight to 17. And you have flexibility over what hidden layer neurons you wanna choose. But then you'll combine the encoder and decoder, create that auto encoder. And eventually what you should be able to do is after training on a certain number of epochs, then you should get something that looks kind of like this, essentially what we did when we first discussed autoencoders for dimensionality reduction. And after plotting this out, you should notice that Northern Ireland is quite different than the other three countries. Keep in mind, you will most likely not get this exact plot, especially if you use a different type of autoencoder. So what you should notice is some differentiation between Northern Ireland versus the other three countries. And it doesn't have to actually happen like this. It could be that Northern Ireland may be centered around zero and the other three countries are not centered around zero. Okay, so go ahead and take a look at this and follow along with the exercise. Coming up next, we're going to work through an example solution. We'll see you there. 